Hi there, it's Sergio on PEP8 assembly language. Today I will show you how we use shrimps and I will be represented with ASCII. So let me start with branch <coughs> main. I will need to declare some kind of variable, so I will say num1 and block2, num2, block2 as well. Now to represent uh, strings, we need also variable, but in ASCII. So, so for example, first off, we need the name. So message, for example. Then we say dot ASCII, and we type the message inside the <coughs> quotation marks. So, for example, I say the, the original number. Is and oh, we always need to add something like this. This way, we, we will print this out, and then later on, it will something else can be printed out. Well, I will show you, so no need to worry. So, msg2, for example, I want second message in ASCII and say, and uh, and the result is and the result is it will be shown like this so the original number is and the number of for example num1 and then and the result is calculated number which will be stored probably in number 2 so let's go ahead and create our main uh, ask for input load num1 and then we can do our calculations so for example I will do uh, multiply by 2 and I will add num1 so that will be <coughs> multiply by 3 I will store it in num2 and now <coughs> I have calculated my uh, result. Uh, so now I want to I want to uh, print out this message, then this, the number, first number, the original number, then second message, and the result. So how I do it? I need to use string. That's how you declare a string, and we can have yeah, input. no there is only output there is no string input so so we have string output I will say msg the name of the first I am D direct then I will need to decimal output then first original number so it's number one and then again I will use string output and um, say message 2 and then I will decimal output the num2 and I will stop the program and end it so when I put 5 you will see what will happen uh, sorry main Oh yeah, I spelled it wrongly and that happens sometimes. So when I run this, you can see I have a string, then the original number is 5 and then and the result is 15. So we will calculate this and show this result here. This is very useful to use ASCII in our calculations when we for example represent want to represent some kind of strings for user to know what we're doing and stuff like this we can of course change them we can have many more than this we can also declare those variables also those here so it will not change anything so if I put them here for example let me put those here for example yeah, I will put them here and I delete them from here you will see that will make no difference it's still working 
so that uh, we can put them either at the end of the code or at the beginning of the code. It's how you prefer. I prefer to put them at the beginning. And you, you can't put anything like this in the middle of your code. You can't do it. It will not work. So that's probably it. I can change it, for example, to, let's say, to. I can also add one more or add some kind of, for example, I can add the multiplier again, and the result will change 10. <coughs> because I do. So if I have 5, I multiply by 2, so it's um, so it's 10 and minus 5 so it's 5 I multiply by 2 it's again 10 <coughs> that's probably it for this tutorial as I said this is how we use ASCII I just wanted to show you how we use ASCII um, it's not it's not part of my um, main tutorials but it's useful sometimes when you want to represent strings not only characters so it is useful Visit my blog, visit my YouTube channel for more info, for more tutorials. Uh, yesterday I released my tutorials on Visual Basic 2010 Express. Maybe you are interested in them. Uh, have a look and I will see you next tutorial. Bye.